Thank you for joining us today on the Stream 101 tutorial series on how to get your station started in five minutes or less. So the first step is going to be looking at the email you would have received after sign up. This is going to contain all the details necessary to get signed into the media control panel, which is the headquarters for getting your station started. Now that we have those details, we'll go ahead and log into the media control panel. Ordinarily, once your station is connected, this will be your dashboard, which will show your current playing songs, some recent information about songs that we're playing, as well as uh, some various uh, information like current listeners, total data transfer, things like that. Because we haven't started yet, the dashboard's pretty empty. So let's get started so we can get that information in there. For this tutorial, we're going to be using SAM Broadcaster Pro version 2017. So we'll go ahead and open that up right now. And as you can see, uh, we have a few sample tracks added. Uh, you should have already had this part set up. We'll have another video tutorial on how to add some tracks and do some basic settings to SAM Broadcaster in a later video. But for now, we'll head over to Desktop B so we can look at our encoders section. This is the section that connects to our broadcast uh, system. So let's go ahead and click the plus icon. From here, we're going to either want to choose MP3 or MP3 Pro. For the demo, we'll go ahead and use MP3. The next screen that comes up will have us go back to the media control panel so we can gather some information such as the bit rate, the server type, and some server information. So let's head back there now. To get this information on this screen, we'll click on the quick links and then scroll down just a little bit to the live source connection section. Now that we're on our live source connections area, we can see that the maximum bit rate is 128, which was the first uh, question that we needed to answer in this setup. So we can go ahead back to Sam Broadcaster, choose 128. Now, the other only other option on this screen that we want to check is that auto start encoder after five seconds, which is really useful for uh, the time if you close Sam Broadcaster and need to reopen it again, it'll automatically start broadcasting your station again. Now we'll go ahead and head to the server details screen. And at this point, we can go ahead and copy and paste all of our details uh, from the media control panel right into SAM Broadcaster. Now that we have our details copied and pasted, the only thing we're going to leave the same uh, by default is that username is going to stay as encoder. Now we can go ahead and add our station name and whatnot, and then we'll be ready to continue. Now that we've finished adding that information, we can go ahead and click OK. And if we sat here and waited for five seconds, it'll automatically attempt to connect to the stream. As you can see, it's connecting to the server, but it'll say encoder started, no audio detected. That's because we haven't actually started playing our station yet. As soon as we hit the play button, I'll go ahead and pause that, but as soon as we hit the play button, you can see that it started encoding and streaming. I've gone ahead and muted this so you can still hear me, but we're in auto DJ mood. We've got uh, some of that sample information playing. Now if we head back to our overview page, we'll be able to see that the song that we're playing is currently playing and our station name, Stream 101 Tutorial, is up there. So the only remaining step is to add some listen links to your website so your users can listen to you. We can head over to the Quick Links page and right up at the top you'll see that there are some quick tune-in links that'll have uh, the various links to the various players that you may want to link to. Another option for you is always the copy and paste direct HTML code, uh, which can be copied and pasted right into your uh, website editor. That's under the widgets section. Under the widgets section, we also have a couple Pro Tool options that are custom to Stream 101. Uh, a couple different player options here for you, as well as some widgets down below that can do some stream status information, song requests, things like that, uh, right on your website. So I want to thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If you have any questions regarding your newly acquired Stream 101 service, feel free to email support at stream101.com or open a ticket in your client area, and we'd be more than happy to assist you. Thanks again for choosing Stream 101, and we wish you the best in your broadcast adventures.